besides that, like, what what were the what were some of the stories that touched you the most? We were lucky enough to, like I said, to have all these people that were willing to um, just be so transparent and so honest and open about um, about their lives. I mean, so many of these um, uh, families, they you know, uh, caregiving happens at home. It happens behind closed doors where where people don't see it. And so the the fact that they were brave enough and willing enough to um, share share some of these stories with us uh, I mean that we, we got so many mm-hmm. that were great and so many that are the surprising thing was that so many of them were so similar that so many of these families are um, struggling in similar ways even their, their, their stories are unique and their experiences are unique they have some of the same struggles mm-hmm. um, story was just so powerful to us and that's you know why we structured it that way because you know they were willing to let us in behind the scenes and kind of um, give us access to their home and their family and really be honest about a lot of things that are hard to share but their story represents so many different challenges that other caregiving families have as well um, that we just thought it was a perfect story to kind of bring this to light and set up a lot of the conversations about all the topics the film addresses, like mental health, physical health, uh, financial stress, long-term care, you know, all these things that go into it, their story was so such a powerful way to uh, touch on all those different things. Found it and really gravitated toward it because, you know, it's a way to be seen and and we hope that caregivers feel validated and um, appreciated for for the work that they do. Um, But then also we hope that they'll share it with their friends, family, teachers, doctors, you know, people in their community who may just not understand what it means to be a caregiver and how, you know, all consuming that can be in a lot of cases. Um, So just that way we can spread it around and start with just more awareness for caregivers. And it's not their fault. It's just hard to empathize or see other people's lives in that way without actually seeing it or experiencing it firsthand. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this movie can, I feel like it should be part of, you know, when you first start teaching, especially Um, here in New York City, we have a district that's um, called District 75. And it's for children with special needs with more, with more profound needs than other students. So the kids in that district, I feel like part of the orientation should be people watching this movie honestly i feel like as humans we just judge people in general so like parents will be not parents but some teachers will be like oh um such and such as mom didn't come oh figures blah 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 right yet they don't see all the daily struggles that this parent is going through and the things that they're doing on their daily lives that like really take a toll like mental health is like a big thing i want to put in the the statistics of the amount of parents i feel like you guys do too in the in the film right the the amount of parents that deal with mental health issues that are caregivers for children with special needs or, or like not even just children, but just people that have special needs in general is like high. It's it's I feel like it's double than parents of typically of neurotypical children. So it's I feel like you guys are doing such an amazing job of highlighting that and really putting up a mirror and showing other parents what those parents' lives are like. Cause it's so easy to judge and kind of like, you know, point a finger and be like, oh my God, you guys are, you're not, oh my God, you didn't come to a parent teacher conference or, mm-hmm. oh, you're not, you're not participating in the bake sale, but they don't see everything else that's going on in the background that the parent can't actually do that, you know? Mm-hmm.